Two NFC heavyweights square off in today's action, Vikings and Eagles. Welcome everybody to Minnesota Vikings franchise episode number five. We're hosting these Philly Eagles who are not only really good in the NFC East, one of the top teams, they are one of the best teams in the entire NFL. Very tough team that we're going to have to square off against in today's action. Carson Wentz, Deshaun Jackson, Jordan Howard, Zach Ertz, Fletcher Cox. Like the defense doesn't end. The defense, the tenacious defense doesn't stop here. You guys can see Fletcher Cox at work here. Dropping Amir Abdullah behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 12. Cousins firing out to Thielen. A missed tackle here. And now Thielen's juking everywhere, left and right. He's going to pick up the first down for 17. We're missing Dalvin Cook. That's one of the big blows here for us as the weeks go on. He's going to be out for nine weeks. He got injured in the last episode, so if you guys have not seen that, please go check that out. It's a very tough injury. It's going to be pretty harsh on us for sure as we face off against this grueling schedule. This grueling schedule. And you want to talk about how this schedule is going to be tough on us. It's going to be even tougher on us if Stefan Diggs is going to be out for a long period of time. Now he's hurt. Looks like either a wrist issue or an elbow issue, shoulder. It could be anything. Brandon Coleman is in his spot at the number two. Not a good pass by Kurt Cousins there on the outside as Coleman can't even work himself back to the football. Second and ten, Alexander Madison and Abdullah kind of splitting those carries with Dalvin Cook out. Only going to get two yards here. And now Diggs actually comes back in on this drive. And it was a crucial time for him to come back as he picks up the first down. First and 10 now, Diggs with a little juke and takes a big hit, a very big hit. And it's really good to see that he's able to shrug that off and just take that one. That was a very good sign. And here's an even better sign. Stefan Diggs with the juke moves, able to avoid the contact with his shiftiness. And he's gonna get into the end zone for an early touchdown for the Vikings. Really nice job by Diggs. I mean, look at this, whoop, that move. And then the spin move, money. Money, money, money. Do a little dance, make a little love. Seven nothing Vikings. Skull, baby. <laughs> we, got the, we got the lead. Harrison Smith, sack on Carson Wentz. He's having already an MVP caliber season. Ten touchdowns, two picks so far in this early part of the 2019 season. That sack by Harrison Smith going to push him back to second and 17. They're going to pick up five yards here and a nice play by Anthony Harris in order to get that deflection and that pass breakup. Vikings get the football back. Pass out to Laquan Treadwell, who's been on a lot of people's radar to, well, for me to get rid of or to cut and then sign Josh Doxson. Now, I did play this game and the Lions game that you guys are going to see here in a little bit before the Josh Doxson sign. So I was not able to get him on the team here for this episode or the next game in the next week so after the Lions game I will go in and I will go ahead and sign Josh Doxson he will get some playing time I promise you that Laquan Treadwell obviously you know talking about with trade rumors uh, he's been cut from the team that's obviously something that we want to uh, that we want to fix up eventually but he's been playing well for us it doesn't really seem to be a reason for me to uh, to go ahead and release a guy like that since he's been playing so well but uh, here's Carson Wentz trying to escape pressure, and on third and 22, after a sack in the previous play by Ben Gideon, Daniel Hunter going to come in, force a fumble. Offensive lineman picks it up, so the Eagles have to give us the football back here. And here's Abdullah, nice, well, really kind of kind of a weird throw by Kirk Cousins, but still able to complete the pass. And then we're not going to pick up the first down. We will get some positive yardage though, but not able to complete that task of getting the first down and moving the football down the field here. Still 7-0, so kind of a defensive game. Eagles-Vikings, not something that you'd think about, right? It's a defensive battle between these two teams. Some pretty solid offenses all the way around. Alshon Jeffrey, though, on third and inches. Going to pick up the first down the, up to the 31-yard line. Here's a little play action play by Carson Wentz. A little rollout, and uh-oh, no! Deshaun Jackson breaks the tackle on Anthony Harris, and nobody is going to catch him too fast, too speedy. Deshaun Jackson, oh, hey, okay, good. You threw the ball in the end zone this time. Nice. Good on you, bro. 
Pass complete to Stefan Diggs, and he's going to be able to get out of bounds at the 48. Cousins 13 of 16 on the game thus far. Diggs five catches for 61, so he's having himself a pretty solid game. Here's a missed tackle. Abdullah on third and six, trying to use that defensive aggressiveness on that D-line against the Eagles. And we're able to get five on that screen pass. Now we're going for it. It's a 7-7 game. The defensive has reigned supreme here. And we go with C.J. Ham, and he's not able to get the first down. He got to inches, but they didn't give him the spot. So the Eagles now are going to take possession here. Here's a nice play by Ben Gideon. Able to get in and make that tackle behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and 12 for Philly. Now, what is going to, what's this call going to be? It's going to be a false start on Philly with 2.10 left to go in the game. Third and 17 now. It's a very big situation for our Vikings here. Here is Wentz just going to check it to the outside. Incomplete. And they're going to have to give us the football back. A minute 52, second and 10. Vikings at the 12 yard line. Pass will be gone incomplete as it got batted down at the line of scrimmage. So, third and 10, we're just trying to kill some clock and had a lane up the middle, but Abdullah did not see it in time. And the Eagles will use their first timeout to stop the clock at 1 37 after the punt return. Here's Wentz looking at that angle route for the tight end. That's Ertz out there, but Jeffrey makes the catch. Minute 16, minute 15, time is winding down for the Eagles. And on second and six, pass is going to go. Ooh, that was close. That was close, but they don't give him the first down. So it'll be third and six. They didn't give him the catch, I should say. Third and six, they're going to go with a screen pass. And nice play right there by Anthony Barr to bust off the block and then get to the running back to get the stop. So with that being said, the Eagles are going to give us the football back and we end up running it off. We run off the clock. And we're going to go to halftime with a 7-7 seven seven tie. Look at the rushing yards. 4 for the Eagles, 11 for the Vikings. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's not good. It's not good at all. Both teams are kind of abandoning the running game right now and we can see why. The passing game has been effective. Cousins now 15 of 21 for 147. That's Irv Smith Jr. with the big time catch. And then here's Madison just bowling over the safety. I like to see that. That was Malcolm Jenkins with the tackle attempt, but he's got four rushes for 19 yards right now. And Madison seems like he's kind of getting into a groove a little bit. Here's a catch to the outside. And now Diggs is hurt again. Diggs is hurt again. Not good. And this one, he's not going to be able to return. Looks like an ankle injury or a calf issue. Lower body issues, not good for a wide receiver. Not good. So third and seven, Adam Thielen, old trusty, reliable. He's going to make his third catch for his 39th yard so far in this game. Little play action here for first and 10 and a pass. Incomplete, almost picked off by Philly. Cousins now 17 of 24. Luckily, we still maintain control of the football here. A little screen pass. And, you know, I got to be careful on these screen passes because sometimes there's a little glitch here where the running back is not going to get open. He runs into his offensive lineman when they're trying to set the block. So, got to be careful about those. Second and nine after Kyle Rudolph pickup. And a little pump fake looking for Thielen, but he had the underneath route to Abdullah. And it's going to be a Brandon Graham sack, the former Michigan product. Going to sack the former Michigan State product. Kirk Cousins, third and 17, another little pump fake, and looking for X again, and we can't hit the route in time, and it's going to be a fumble. Kirk Cousins gets hit hard, he fumbles the ball, Philly gets the football back. Pressure on Carson Wentz, Daniil Hunter, going to make up for it. He bails his offense out here, gets the second sack of the game, third and 17, and Wentz, no pressure whatsoever little bit of pressure here he's starting to scramble around a little bit and Harris can't make the play oh god this is exactly what Carson Wentz does guys he extends plays out and then finds the open man all the time all the time so big pickup for Zach Ertz and watch Harris here Anthony Harris baited Carson Wentz in making that throw not a good throw 
by Wentz. He thought the receiver was going to be open in that spot. He anticipated it incorrectly as Anthony Harris comes over and baits him. Look at that. Perfect route by Anthony Harris. We get the football back. So the defense has bailed out the Vikings offense here. We have a chance now to come back and take this lead 14 to 7. We got to get a touchdown here. And no, again, again. Cousins turns it over. There was a split second, just a split second where Kyle Rudolph was open right there. And just, you got to fit it through that hole. And he was unable to. It was just a little bit behind Rudolph. It wasn't far out in front of him where he could have made a play to get that touchdown. So luckily, luckily, after the interception in the end zone, Minnesota's defense comes through again. But here we go. This back and forth, back and forth between the defenses bailing their offenses out. A sack on Cousins. Pass complete here to Kyle Rudolph. Seven seconds to go in the third. Now we're going to transfer it over to the fourth as the fourth quarter starts up. Looking for Thielen on the deep bomb on third and 12. Not going to happen. Kirk Cousins only 199 yards passing, 20 of 30. Pass is going to be completed. Out to Zach Ertz. Excuse me. That's Goddard. That's Dallas Goddard with the catch on the right. Second and nine. Deshaun Jackson going to make this catch. They're up to the eight. And here's Jordan Howard going to bust off two tackles to get into the end zone. Xavier Rhodes making the tackle as soon as he already crossed the plane. But Jordan Howard's in. And the Eagles are up 14-7 to seven here. Cousins going to fire it out right over top of the corner. Nice catch by the physical, the big, Brandon Coleman for his first catch on the game. Pass here is going to be completed to Abdullah. Uses his momentum to pick up the extra yards after the catch, after the hit. And here's Abdullah again on second and six. He's not going to get much yardage. He's only going to get two to set us up for third and four. So it's third and manageable. Nice catch here by Laquan Treadwell. Makes the grab. Able to pick up that first down. We're up to the 43-yard line. Cousins with the pump. Going to hit Abdullah. Almost going to bust off that tackle. But only going to get four yards here. We're going to go... Mm, uh, the Madden accuracy dice rolls, guys. It looks like it's just going to be an open route. And no! We run it again. And Treadwell makes the catch this time as Cousins hits him in stride. But he fumbles the ball so philly gets another turnover from the vikings offense but here's carson wentz on a first and ten and linval joseph just gonna power through that o-line and gonna get the sack second and 17 bringing the pressure again xavier Rhodes gonna come in and try to make a hit on the quarterback but this is why you need xavier Rhodes back there guarding Deshaun Jackson. So Harris has to come all the way across the field to make this tackle on Deshaun Jackson. Gets the big play. Third and seven for the Eagles. Looking for Goddard. Doesn't hit him. And the field goal is going to be up and good. So with 328 left to go, the Vikings are in a precarious situation here. You got to get a quick score. You got to get a quick stop on defense and another score to come back. And here's another inaccurate pass by Cousins. Looking for the slant route. Instead, he throws it right up the middle. Not cool. Looking for people that are open. Had the X, had the A. Didn't trust it because of this accuracy issue. And now we got third and 20. Cousins is going to fire it out to Abdullah just to try to pick up at least the 10 yards that we need to get back to fourth and manageable to fourth and 10. Now we have a fourth and 14. This is pretty much the game for Minnesota. And a pass is going to go complete to Adam Thielen. And that possession arrow is still on our side. He picked up the first down. Cousins going to fire it deep to Jordan Taylor. Almost picked off at least twice on the deep throw. Second and 10. Pass not going to be thrown in time. Fletcher Cox gets his second sack on the game. We've hit the two-minute warning. Cousins going to go to Treadwell and a fake. And uh-oh, he fumbled the football again. He just did it again. He fumbled the ball. Cousins has to make the tackle. Coleman gets the cleanup. And guys, that pretty much is going to be it 
if Philly scores here. If they get a touchdown, it's going to be pretty much over. I mean, a field goal is, is cool and all. Like, we can come back from that. But there's the touchdown to Zach Ertz. I did it again. To Dallas Goddard. And this game's, this game's over. This game's over. We score one touchdown on the game to Stephon Diggs. And we turn the ball over four times. Four times. 32 rushing yards. Could not get anything going on the ground. 4.7 yards per play on offense. Not good. 70% completion percentage, though, for Cousins. But he had that interception. He had the fumble. And then Laquan Treadwell with those two fumbles. There you go. There's your, there's your four turnovers. So, Treadwell... I think you guys are right, man. I think you guys are right. He was playing well for us for only so long. And then now here we are with uh, two fumbles that probably, really, I think probably cost us the football game. Honestly. When we look at Kirk Cousins' turnovers, yeah, those are those are bad too. Uh, one being that interception in the end zone. You, like, you, you can't do that. You got to have that one back. Our defense played good enough against this high-flying offense for the Eagles to – Help us win that game. But yeah, those two turnovers by one player, a player that's not supposed to be turning the ball over. Like you can you can get the you can have turnovers with a quarterback, like, okay, that's that's gonna happen, right? But when one guy, a wide receiver, is gonna fumble the football twice, that's kind of a big issue. It's kind of a big issue. So we see that Johnson is now upgraded to a 65. Abdullah's probably gonna get to a 75 at this point. After we upgrade his elusive back rating. And then I believe this is Daniil Hunter is next. Yes, Daniil Hunter is next. I think he goes to an 86 still. Because I think we stick to the speed rusher. No, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with that run stopper. And he's gonna get bumped up to an 87. So guys, I end up putting Laquan Treadwell on the trading block. This is what you guys have wanted. This is what you guys have been waiting for. And honestly, you can't fumble the ball twice in a very crucial matchup for us. You can't do it. You can't do it. So we put him on the trading block. And that's going to be that for Laquan Treadwell. I mean, we've in this game, he's going to be bumped down to the number four wide receiver. Uh, Diggs is going to have to come back. Hopefully, we'll see what happens here in this Vikings against the Lions gameplay as we get kicked off here. Hopefully, we get this W. It is on the road against an NFC North opponent division opponent so it's not going to be super easy the Detroit Lions have improved over last season but we still got to worry about Matthew Stafford we got to worry about carry on Kenny Galladay Marvin Jones they've got offensive weapons here hopefully and they've got defensive players too with Trey Flowers and Damon Harrison Darius Slay it's a pretty solid football team but hopefully we're we're a little bit better in today's action but not a good start here. First and five for Detroit. And just as I say that, it looks like we're going to turn this bad start into a good start as Anthony Barr forces a fumble on the big hit on Stafford. So Linval Joseph able to pick this up. Vikings now with their first possession in plus territory. We're up to the 18-yard line after a nine-yard catch by Kyle Rudolph. Second in inches. Pass is going to go complete to Amir Abdullah, the former Lion. It's going to get hit by Gerard Davis with the tackle. And here is a play-action pass to Thielen, but Tavai in pass coverage is going to make this deflection. So second and ten, Cousins, offensive line, can't give him the protection that he needs. And Perry comes up with a sack. It's going to push us to third and 15. And it looks like they're in a little bit of a zone coverage here. Actually, check that. Yeah, it looks like it's in zone coverage. And then Laquan Treadwell trying to make this athletic grab. I don't blame him for dropping that. He did get moved to the number four wide receiver on the depth chart. So just so you guys are aware of that, he did get moved. And Jordan Taylor got bumped up into being the slot receiver. There are some packages where Laquan Treadwell will get on the field. But I think with those two fumbles, he definitely deserved to get moved down. Even though he had been playing well for us up until that point, up until that Eagles game where he really sucked it up. He really sucked it up. A big catch by Galladay, and then we get this tackle in the backfield by Kendricks. So Kerryon Johnson can't get any positive yardage there. A catch here by Marvin Jones. He just beat Ben Gideon 
to getting to the football. Last week had a pretty solid game, so we got to be watching out for this wide receiver duo between Jones and Galladay. And a nice tackle, a nice sack here by none other than Daniel Hunter. Gets a sack, his fifth on the year, on Stafford. Second and 18, pass is complete. <laughs> pass is complete to Danny Amendola. Making an athletic grab, he looked like he was 6'5 on that. Goodness gracious, you gotta make a better play on that, DBs. Come on, let's go. Here's Stafford, gonna find Jesse James after what looked to be kind of an off-balance throw for Stafford, but he was able to find him anyway. It's gonna make it a field goal a little bit easier for Prater, and he bangs it through. It's gonna be three to three, and Stafford completely misses Marvin Jones on their next possession. We are unable to cash in on our offensive possession as we now have a minute left to go in the first quarter. So Anthony Harris with back-to-back -back weeks for interceptions. Gotta like his production and his performance in these last two games. Nice pass completed to Laquan Treadwell. So he's kind of making up for his blunders in last week against the Eagles. Here's a nice pass complete to Kyle Rudolph. Second and inches here and Cousins dropping back. We need to get this ball out and we do. We get it to Abdullah on the angle route and he's gonna get hit here by Quandre Diggs and Detroit went black. What's up with that? Got to pay the light bill, I guess. Cousins, first and goal, pump fake, and then Thielen in the end zone with the catch in traffic. I have no idea how Cousins saw Thielen there, but you know, that's, that's just like that throw against the Giants about two weeks ago. Threw it into traffic and somehow Thielen was able to come up with that touchdown grab. So it's going to be 10 to 3 Vikings here. And uh-oh, Amendola fumbles the football and Mackenzie Alexander picks it up and he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown Vikings. So Detroit starting to let this slip away this game. It's now 17 to 3. So the big hit was laid on Danny Amendola and he can't hang on to it. So it's going to be Vikings touchdown, and just like that, missed tackles all around. And the Lions are going to respond with a touchdown of their own. A big one. A big one. Not cool. Not cool. But we are tasked now in a second and 11 here on the 46 yard line. We got to come back. We got to get a response score here. And nothing's open. Nothing's open, and rather than take a sack, just might as well try and get a completion here. But it's not going to work as it goes incomplete. Now Cousins is in a third and 11 situation. We've got Diggs motioning out to the left, and here's a post corner route that he was open on. Challenged by Darius Slay out there and unable to come up with a pass completion. Now here's Marvin Jones with Detroit's next possession up to the 44-yard line after this nice catch on the post route up the middle. Now here's Carrion Johnson going up the middle. Going to get 11 here from the 44 up to the 33. Stafford, play action pass here. Barr trying to do his best to put pressure on Stafford, but we get a Xavier Rhodes pass interference call. And it's going to push Detroit up to the five-yard line. And C.J. Anderson able to get the good blocking right in front of him. And just like that, guys, we have a tie football game now. 17-17 with a minute 33 left to go in the first half. Cousins bombing it out deep. He had digs. He had him. Just overshot him. So second and ten. Trying to get something going here. Got to get that pass out a little bit earlier. It's going to fall incomplete. Third and 10. Minute 22. Looking for A. Kyle Rudolph on that break. But it's going to end up being a sack for Detroit. So we got to give him the football back. 23 seconds to go here. Third and six. This is a big down and distance for the Vikings. Got to get a stop here. We do. We get that stop. And that is going to actually be it for the first half. So it's going to be 17 17 game here in Detroit. And when we look at the numbers here, 17 rushing yards, 65 passing yards. We can't get anything going on offense right now, guys. This Dalvin Cook injury is really, really hurting us. We can't establish the running game with Abdullah and Madison. 
It's forcing us to pass on almost every down. It's tough. It's tough. And then when you're trying to drop back and pass every down, they're just bringing the pressure on you all day. And then you're forced to make these types of throws to Thielen and Diggs, your playmakers. It's a tough situation to be in right now for the Vikings. And we're kind of lucky here being even in this game, 17 to 17, as we see a pass complete here to Irv Smith Jr., the Alabama product. It's going to move the chains here. Cousins, 15 of 22. So it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But we can't seem to move the football on Detroit's defense. It's an improved defense, but it's not an elite unit. And we see here another sack. Another sack. This is Perry's second sack of the game, fifth on the season. And it pushes us back to a second and 17. So our O-line has not been good in this game. And we can see it right here. Again, too much pressure up the middle. And the O-line cannot get Cousins the protection that he needs. And right here is the type of risky throw that you have to make when that pressure is just on you like flies on meat, man. Brandon Coleman making this catch right over top of the defender. It's going to put us at the four-yard line first and goal. And Perry again comes through basically untouched for the third sack of the game for him. So now's the time. Is it time to start establishing the run? I mean, we're kind of forced like we have to here, but we do get some good run blocking here. Madison's going to get about to the three-yard line after he picks up about eight. So here we are. We got Thielen wide open. It looks like they're going to blitz on that left side. And they do. They blitz, but throw it. Throw it. Guys, you apparently can't throw when you're in the drop back animation. You have to make sure that your, your quarterback stops. Sucks because that's going to cost us six and it's going to turn into a field goal. So it's going to be 20 to 17. And then the Lions' next possession, carry on Johnson from the 25 yard line, gets all the way to the 24 yard line. Gets all the way to our 24 yard line. Wow. Wow. Just wow. That's all I got. That's all I can say here. But we get a good defensive play from. Stefan, so Shmar Stefan able to get the sack on Stafford, second and 20, and carry on, gonna get hit hard by Harrison Smith. And he's already up over 100 yards rushing. It's brutal, it's brutal right now. We're just getting gashed by, by the run game for Detroit. CJ Anderson here with a nice carry, 12th yard line here for Detroit. Stafford with a pretty much a clean pocket here, no pressure, gets it out to CJ Anderson on the left. And that's going to set up second down and six. Here's a run by Carrion and trying to lay the boomstick is going to cost us seven points here. Harrison Smith trying to cause a turnover like he's done so many times in this series, in this season. And it's just not going to happen here. So we are now tasked down four late here in the third quarter. We got to get a touchdown. We have to get a touchdown. We got to get this lead back. And Adam Thielen's going to be a big part of that as he makes this catch to the 37. Here we are in the fourth quarter with nine minutes starting up, and we're gonna go bombing it out to the left to Thielen and off the deflection, off of Thielen's hands, Diggs is gonna pick it off. So the turnovers, guys, the turnovers, we saw it last week against the Eagles, the turnovers on Minnesota's offense are really hurting us right now and not being able to capitalize when we do get the turnovers on defense, it's hurting us right now. But luckily, luckily our defense gets a stop, and we are now up to the 41-yard line as we skip ahead just a little bit. we got 6.32 left to go. Play action pass. Here's a throw to Treadwell, and it's short. Cousins threw it short. Third and six. Big hit by Jelani Tavai on Amir Abdullah. It's going to be fourth and in inches. We could kick the field goal here to try to get it to 24-23, but we are going for it, and Abdullah gets stopped short. He only got inches. He needed just a little bit extra, and he didn't get it. So it's still 24-20. So the aggressive play calling is going to hurt us here by the looks of it. Five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter as Jesse James, a big-time target for Stafford in today's game. Already got five receptions on, on the ball game. 
It's going to pick up that first down. 434. Now Detroit's just killing the clock. If they get if they get a field goal here, it's 27 to 20. So they're going to be up a touchdown. Jesse James is going to jump over the defender on third and seven, and he's going to get the first. 125. Detroit's still killing that clock. It's going to be third and four. This is a big down right here for Minnesota. They are going to try to throw it to the end zone, and here is a oh, <laughs> nice play. Nice play. Kenny Galladay was short of the end zone. I think he probably would have made it with that big frame. But the big hit knocked the football loose. It wasn't a fumble. They thought he didn't make a football move, so it wasn't a fumble. It's going to go as an incompletion. So Detroit kicks the field goal. It's going to be 27-20, and a huge catch by Taylor is going to set us up at the 48-yard line with a minute and a second left to go. A minute and a second left to go. Cousins trying to bomb it deep, and he's going to be sacked by Trey Flowers. Second and 18. We're going no huddle. Trying to save that timeout. Save those two timeouts. And Taylor with another big catch. That's twice now on this drive specifically. He's had a huge catch of 20 plus yards. We're going to spike it here. Save those two timeouts. 18 seconds to go. Cousins dropping back. Going to fire it right over top of Walker. What a throw by Kirk Cousins to Laquan Treadwell. So he comes up big with a nice catch. And now first and 10, we need a touchdown to tie the game. 12 seconds to go. Abdullah is going out on the fly, hoping to beat Tavai in coverage. Can he do it? Now we're going to go with him on the slant here. Can he beat Tavai on the, on the coverage? He's right there. Throw to RB. Cousins misses him. Nine seconds to go at the 14, second and 10. Abdullah beat his man there and it's going to fall incomplete. So Cousins fire into the end zone. Diggs makes the catch, but he drops the ball. It goes incomplete and then one second left. Rudolph, he can't get in the end zone. He's down at the one yard line. He gets stopped at the end zone. Oh my gosh. Take a look one more time. They were bringing the house, and he's right there. And the momentum by Devon Kennard didn't push him into the end zone. What is that? What is that? In real life, guys, you know that Kyle Rudolph, with the momentum moving that forward and getting hit like that, he's going in the end zone. But it wasn't going to happen, guys. It wasn't meant to be. Cousins threw for 348 yards because, simply put, our rushing attack is just not there. It's non-existent right now. It seems like everything that we're trying to do with running the football is just not working. The offense played decently, but the big drop by Diggs, the inability by Rudolph to get into the end zone when it mattered the most, the sacks given up by our offensive line. We gave up seven sacks today against Detroit. Not good. So hats off to Matt Patricia for out-scheming us on offense. But, guys, not good. It's not good. That's two losses, and it's going to push us to 5-2 and two on the season. We're still hanging in there. We're right above the Bears in Detroit, but it's not over. It's still going to be a long year. I'll see you guys in the next one on Sunday. For week number one NFL action, I'm going to be posting this in the morning. We're going to get Thursday night football against the Redskins, and then we're going to get the gameplay against the Chiefs. So tune in on Sunday for more Minnesota Vikings action. Guys, leave a like if you like this thing. I know we lost, but you got to lose sometime, right? you got to lose sometime. And in this dramatic fashion, these injuries are piling up. we got to make some things work out for us in the long term. So, guys, I'll see you in the next one on Sunday. Leave a like if you like this thing. I'll see you then. As always, peace.